Luka Doncic is dominating the NBA this season and in this video I'm going to show you how to dominate an NBA 2K24 using Luka Doncic's signature style. Not only that, I call this video Luka 2.0 because we're gonna elevate how we create with Luca, taking advantage of his signature animations, but not only that, making sure that we are speed boosting the right way and not falling into the trap of becoming a slow and plodding Luka Doncic. So in the first part of this video, I'm going to show you how to speed boost correctly and what combos you should use. So first, the traditional speed boost is done by executing any signature size up with your right stick and then holding the left stick up into the right or up into the left to your non-ball hand while holding turbo. But take a look at the speed boost that you get out of it. There's a little hang. This is because you're using pro dribble style which delays your launch and makes the speed boost very telegraphed. Take a look at how we use the speed boost against Drew Holiday. That delay in the speed boost caused us to be locked up pretty easily. The wrong speed boost, especially for guys like Luca who has slower animations, will cause you to get locked up. So first, Luca doesn't have a very complex combo for his signature size up. Basically, all of his crossover combinations combo really well, but there is one particular target combo that you should be using. So you'll only be using the front crossover and the between the legs crossovers. Here, I tap the right stick upright, left, right, left, upright, and then left, right. Take a look at the slow and signature animation that you get out of it if you do it correctly. But now how to speed boost out of this? Now instead of holding the left stick up left or up right, you just want to hold the left stick to the left or to the right after any right stick combo. So if you compare this combo to the previous speed boost, it's much faster and therefore it will be easier to beat your opponent. So here I just tap the right stick up right and then hold the left stick to the left and then hold turbo to burst out of it. Pretty easy right? But that small detail is such a big deal. Just take a look at how I zoom past Drew Holiday just by making sure I use the correct speed boost. It avoids the clamp animation from Drew Holiday, gets around him pretty quickly so we can finish at the basket. And because Luca isn't the quickest guy, that fast speed boost is gonna be more than enough to get you at least in a contact animation so you can finish through contact. Okay, now let's look at his animations that I really like. His switch back dribbles, which are done by tapping the right stick from right to left or left to right, can be speed boosted out of pretty easily. Again, a quick review, take a look, the wrong speed boost is very slow, the fast speed boost is much quicker, you want to aim for this speed boost. Tapping up with Luca gives you the regular Luca breakdown combo, which is a dribble sequence which you can interrupt and combo out of any time. But what I prefer to use is the aggressive breakdown combo, which is done by holding R2 and tapping the right stick up. I love this combo because not only can you speed boost out of it, but it shifts your defender from side to side. Just take a look at how we use it in this situation. And yes, everything is on Hall of Fame difficulty. We just shift our defender around. Drew commits really hard to our right. And from that step back dribble out of that aggressive breakdown, once we get that separation, just launch for a jumper. Again, regular breakdown dribbles and aggressive breakdown dribbles can be speed boosted out of and comboed out of at any point. Tapping down on the right stick gives us Lucas moving step back which changes depending on the angle. So there is a quick one moving backwards and another moving step back that moves you diagonally backwards. These are some of the best step backs in the game because not only are they fast and the speed boost out of it is really quick, but you can combo that really quick out of the speed boost and into the diagonal moving step back as you can see right here. And this is one way really if you want to 3 hunt force your defender to commit and then attack the basket it's an insane combo moving step back speed boost moving step back and then cross over this combo gives you so many options depending on how your defender is playing you and the great thing about Luca's signature animations is that you can combo them seamlessly with one another. Just take a look at how I combo the switch back dribbles into the aggressive breakdown, into the regular breakdown, into the step back. See here we start with a switch back, combo with the aggressive breakdown pretty seamlessly and then combo with the regular breakdown dribble and then after that dribble sequence plays out we hit the down on the right stick to combo into that Luca moving step back and then you can speed boost out of it. 
And this is really how I want you to use Luka Doncic. Use a lot of those side to side movements and that powerful moving step back and the speed boost. Use the correct speed boost so that you can attack your defender pretty seamlessly. Luka is very good at change of pace using a lot of forward momentum and acceleration and deceleration that's how you want to play with luca as you can see right here i'm comboing everything pretty seamlessly and using the right speed boost so find which combos which work well with each other in my opinion that luca moving step back moving backwards is really elite okay next how do we use Luka Doncic's step back jumpers which some people think are very slow but I've shown in past 2Ks that all it takes is for you to set this up correctly. If you don't, you'll get clamped as you can see right there. So even though a lot of these stationary step back jumpers in combination with Luka's dribble sigs look very nice, you want to avoid them unless you really want to take the time to set them up which I do to some success. But the best way to set up Luka's step backs are really to create a lot of forward pressure either in transition or in a half court setting. So combo it with your moving dribble sigs or combo it with a lot of forward pressure to force your defender to move backwards and then you can combo into Luka's step back jumpers. Even though they're slow, as long as you get your defenders to commit to guarding the paint because Luka is such an elite finisher, this will set up your step back jumper game really well. And always you want to memorize the animations in different directions. So this is exactly what I do right here. Initiate that contact out of that forward pressure. I just hold R2 and hold the right stick to the down left to create that step back jumper out of contact. So once again, it's all about forcing your defender to move backwards so that it gives Luca the time and space he needs to execute that step back jumper. And this is the key to becoming Luka Doncic in NBA 2K24. Because not people are going to want to use his unique signature animations, especially the step backs. Now, his dribble sigs, in my opinion, are fine. The escape dribbles, maybe not so much. But the step back jumpers are what will separate you. But more importantly, Luka Doncic has several moving signature dribble animations that I personally think are really elite. You see all of them right there in this particular clip. So first his switch back dribble going from left to right or right to left towards his non-ball hand is really good. His moving step back which can act as a crab animation is also excellent. But also his moving crossover is very tight and creates a lot of space. But more importantly, a lot of these signature animations combo well with each other. So the crossover combo is executed by tapping the right stick left to right or right to left, moving crossover again up right or up left to your non-ball hand, and then moving step back, tapping down on the right stick. Use this to put a lot of that forward momentum and forward pressure to get your defender to move their feet around. Once you force them to commit, that's when you want to attack. And even if they're able to defend you, use Luca's physicality and elite shot creation to punish your defenders. Just take a look at how I combo the crossover combo into that moving crossover to shift Derek White around really quickly. Boom! Moving crossover into that moving step back. Now if they give you space, you can launch for a 3. If they commit, speed boost out of it to get to the basket. So there you have it, Luka 2.0. I also have a Luka Doncic video from 2K22, which you also might want to review because a lot of the animations carry over, particularly on the dribbling side. But this is basically how you want to use Luka Doncic. He has several elite animations that in my opinion are so slept on. But this video gives you the key in unlocking Luka Doncic's signature style and in fact elevating that to another level for the purposes of NBA 2K24 gameplay.